Hey guys, it's the film informer Josh DeZinzio here to talk about Marriage Story. I watched it yesterday and it was amazing. Super excited to kind of break down my initial thoughts on the movie for you. Um, this video this week is going to be a bit different. Usually I like to script out, analyze, edit, and produce my videos really tightly, precisely, you know, kind of just getting across the information I want without any sort of rambling. But this week, feeling kind of lazy and I wanted just to show my face a little bit more kind of have a natural video where I think through my initial thoughts out loud uh, with you guys. I usually take about two or three days to write a review so I actually haven't written a review for Marriage Story yet. I'm still kind of you know analyzing it and just diagnosing how it made me feel and all that kind of stuff but I will say I just loved it. It was a super emotional film. It had me breaking down in tears. I mean, afterwards, I went through a whole box of tissues. It was really pathetic, honestly. It's not your fault. <laughs> uh, but highly recommend it. So Marriage Story was written and created by Noah Baumbach. Um, if you aren't familiar with this filmmaker, he did the Mershowitz stories, which was a Netflix original a couple of years back. Great film with Adam Sandler, uh, Ben Stiller, uh, and Dustin Hoffman. But the great thing about that film is the writing, which in that case, and in the case with Marriage Story, is that the dialogue is really in your face and realistic. You know, they the, the characters talk like people talk in real life. Me or Danny or Matt, who's on his way? Matt's coming? He texted me, I texted him. He texted you and you texted him. Do you me. think I'm not gonna tell you the truth? I can drive more in. Because of course, cinema does have sort of this poetic ability. And, you know, we understand that it's a movie. We like it to make us feel some sort of ways. So we kind of avoid realism at certain points, which is okay. But Noah Baumbach, his style is the opposite. He wants it to be as real as possible. And I think that's something that Marriage Story does really well. It's a film about divorce. And I think that he wanted to tell a story that hasn't really been told in movies before, which is what what can divorce do to good people right so if there's this tension between two people right in this movie marriage story it's adam driver's character and scarlett johansson's character they're married they're going through a divorce and while they are good people and while they are going through a tough situation we find that this whole institution of divorce actually adds extra pressure and makes them do things they didn't think they'd do which is just you know an honest interpretation of the divorce system and how it works it's a system built to protect women from you know getting divorced and left with children and unable to take care of them right so this film kind of goes into that and, and it's really it really made me think about things i haven't thought about before which is awesome when a movie can do that especially in that sort of institutionalized world you know something that's very present in in my life as an american so i it was definitely appreciated performance wise oh my god i mean it is it is no mistake that everyone is slating scarlett johansson and adam driver for best actor best actress i mean they are phenomenal probably my two favorite performances of the whole year and i just watched the movie you know I, i'm not making that statement it's it's just how I feel right now, obviously, I, I don't know how true that is, but it was amazing. They both had me in tears, and they really take advantage of the, you know, the grittiness of Bombach's script. So, great job, guys. <clears throat> Adam Driver has continued to impress me since he's come on the scene for me. I didn't really notice him until I saw Star Wars The Force Awakens, and he was great. You know, of course, I wasn't really meditating on his performance per se, but then I saw Black Klansman and he really blew me away. Uh, there's still a couple of films like Patterson that I haven't gotten around to watching, but I'm super glad he was able to 
shine in Marriage Story because he really is one of the you know best new actors. I, I don't even know if I can call if I can really call him new because I don't know how far back his filmography dates. Um, the latest thing I watched with him was Girls on HBO. Uh, he's kind of an asshole in that, which is really funny because he's an asshole in Star Wars. And he's kind of an asshole in Marriage Story. Um, so Adam Driver's a really good asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scarlett Johansson, hell yeah, all right. One of my favorite films of all times is Lost in Translation, which Scarlett Johansson is super young. And I think she was 19 years old when they filmed that and she got to make out with Bill Murray. I mean, not that I wanna make out with Bill Murray, but I, that's pretty cool, right, at 19. like making waves now she's black widow she's getting her own freaking marvel movie um crazy i'm not even a big marvel fan but hell yeah scarlett johansson but honestly i don't know the last time she's given a performance this dedicated I and mean, she i feel like at the end of the day she's the main character if you had to pick adam driver or scarlett johansson she would be she gets a little more screen time it feels like um so it's super exciting to see Johansson's name in that best actress pool, and I honestly think she deserves it. Uh, I know this year there is some competition with Renee Zellweger, who everyone's kind of slating to win for her performance in Judy. I actually haven't got to see it. It kind of rolled past me. There's been so many good films coming out lately, so forgive me. As far as supporting actors go, we have a honestly crazy packed supporting cast, um, starting with Ray Liotta, who plays a divorce lawyer. He's awesome. Uh, it was cool to see him in Marriage Story, especially when he kind of got left out of the Irishman. Whatever, not gonna talk about it. But going back, Laura Dean, Laura Dern, Laura Dern um, is awesome. I, I really appreciate her as an actress. I watched Big Little Lies. My girlfriend wanted to, and I watched it with her. I was wrong for not wanting to watch it in the first place because holy shit, those are some mean, fierce actresses. Like, damn, that show's good. HBO, 10 out of 10 all the time, but that's a really good show. And she's probably one of the greatest performances in that show, competing against like Meryl Streep and Meryl Streep. So with her in Marriage Story, she came back again with that fierce, just upper class, kind of lady attitude you know she does it the best and i have already slated her for best supporting actress really hoping to see her win she was great going to the best supporting actor side i have alan alda who also plays a divorce lawyer all right pretty much all the supporting characters are divorce lawyers that should tell you something he was really good he was only in a couple scenes but every scene he's in he he really captures the attention because he's He's, in, he's remarkable, and if you don't know who this is, and if you've heard of MASH, if you've heard of MASH, you should know who Alan Alda is, so it's not really a good movie or a show to, to point out, but he, he's he been around for a while, he knows what he's doing, and I really hope to see him get appreciated with that nomination. In a year this stacked with performances, it, it really is saying a lot to say what I'm saying about these, these characters and these actors, because they did phenomenal jobs, and especially competing against another Netflix original, competing against The Irishman, where you have De Niro, Joe Pesci, uh, Al Pacino, you know, putting their hearts back into that Italian mobster world and, you know, giving it their all. It's amazing to say that we have these two younger actors coming and giving performances that are even better than theirs. I think it's true. I could still see any one of those people getting the win and it being crazy and being awesome, but it just goes to say that 2019 is full of amazing performances. I've loved this year. At first, it was honestly kind of rough, but this last half of the year has been everything my heart desired. Now, while the performances were the highlight of the film, I do have to say that the soundtrack and the cinematography were perfect to match. There were so many beautiful shots, um, shots that I just want to go post on my Instagram right now, but I want to give people a little bit of time to watch and experience the feels before I go and blat it in their face. Um, but gorgeous, so gorgeous. There's there's a lot of movement in a couple scenes that is, is 
there's no good words to describe it besides poetic. And I, I mainly say poetic because our two main characters are theater performers, right? They're very artistic, very poetic people. Uh, and the way the film captures their story kind of at times makes it feel like a play. And it's kind of contrary to what I said earlier about the dialogue being very realistic. And I think it's a nice contrast within the film while, you know, everything is this super vivid world, the way it's captured um, sometimes has this really nice artistic flair and it's, it's really gorgeous. And the soundtrack, you know, off the top of my head, I, I can't think of anything specific to, to mention, but it, it just paired well the whole time. I never had a complaint with what I was hearing um, during a lot of the non-dialogue scenes, um, especially that, that scene where Adam Driver sings, like, what? Honestly, I'm really thinking five out of five stars right now for Marriage Story. I kind of want to watch it again, but I don't know if I want to put myself through that emotional journey just this soon because it honestly really did take a lot out of me. Like, I, I honestly did ball my eyes out. You know, I'm admitting that like a man. I cried like a bitch, okay? It's sad. It's really sad. And you should watch it if you haven't yet. The only review I've read was Roger Ebert dot com's review i mean it, it wasn't written by roger ebert because he died in 2013 if you didn't know greatest critic of all time but they gave it a four out of four i was super happy to see that i love when you know people i i revere in that community give a movie i loved a great score kind of just reaffirms that um you know that great filmmaking right that great movie-ness to it um it's so beautiful um now I'm rambling, so I'm kind of just going to cut this video over with. I've tried to keep going without doing any cuts. I'm kind of proud of myself and don't even know how long this is. I'm hoping maybe at least five minutes. That'd be cool. Psych! That's the wrong number! If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If you thought it was terrible, shut up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing more of these. We'll see, I guess, it depends on how lazy I get in the future with trying to put out a video every week. Because again, it's a difficult journey, especially for me when I am writing and editing and producing and promoting all of my own content. It, you know, it's, it's a tough, right? It's tough. I love it. I love watching movies. I love talking about movies. I love you guys in my community. Um, and I want to keep doing this. So let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Please go watch Marriage Story. Watch a bunch of my other videos. If you haven't, subscribe, like, share this. If you, you know, have friends who love movies or if you just love movies and don't care what your friends think about, then do that, all right? Peace out.